Hello everyone, welcome again. In this video I have uh, one Asus 2080 Ti already disassembled from the cooler. We have the board here in front of us and as you can already see we have a couple of RAM chips with the markings on top and actually the story of this card is um, um, the card has damage, so liquid damage from the cooler, from the CPU cooler um, on the back side, so right here you can see the, the corrosion there and the friend of the owner took this card and tried to repair it and in the, in the descriptions uh, he wrote also that um, he was able to power on the card one of the ten times and actually the card is uh, no longer working now I don't know why he uh, replaced or reboot or reflow some of the RAM chips because they have changed color also as you can see on the camera we have this RAM chip for example it's a little bit darker this one also is with a marking and darker this one and this one so four RAM chips and I can see the, the serial numbers uh, we have 840 here and here is different here is probably the same this this one maybe is refold or rebuilt but this one is changed um, this one is also changed and this one is the same number as uh, the original RAM chips so uh, where to begin from I want to first say that uh, cards like this and at all cards and devices with previous repair attempts are a lot so uh, before so maybe mm, six or seven months ago we have received uh, maybe 10 percent of all cards uh, were with some attempts to repair but now we have almost the half of this so 50 50 almost so every second card is already opened and somebody worked on it this is amazing <laughs> why the people try to work on, on something that they basically have no idea what they are doing here uh, the soldering job on this PCB is looking good so I cannot say that is something wrong here it's looking really nice so the person who soldered these uh, RAM chips probably so cleaned the board very well from the flux or he didn't use any flux this, this is also possible um, let's start measuring let me switch you sh show with the multimeter on the screen right now okay uh, starting as usual from the 12 volts on PCI what we have okay good reading the voltage drop 500 to ground nice and the first pair of data lines same reading let's move to the 8 pin external power supply this looks good this one also switching in the back and here we want the PEX reset open line is my ground connection not good let's check here so let me show you the card also you cannot see it there let's try here ground and packs reset open line there's something wrong with my multimeter no so checking the reference clock plus and minus so we have reading there nothing wrong with the ground connection or or my multimeter probing the PEX reset again open line so we have definitely a problem with PEX reset and this can explain why the customer says said in the description that he was able to power on the card one of the ten times and when is something wrong with PEX reset or uh, or the logic for PEX reset sometimes happens when the components go bad they are not switching properly and uh, I can see problems like this when one card is working and sometimes powers on sometimes doesn't and, and so on so let's keep that in mind and I will mark it also like the customer he also marked the RAM chips I use a white marker before uh, to mark everything because I have a lot of cards to work and sometimes I mm, 
I can leave this one and take another one and uh, one day later I will come on, I will come back here again and I want to know what exactly is going on here and so on. So from here switching to resistance and let's measure the memory rail which should be right here. We have Samsung chips and uh, 14 ohms looks good. So let's uh, let's find out uh, one uh, our 1.8 volts 380 and right here we have is it is a 5 volt rail yeah probably the pegs should be this one here no this is uh, actually the USB C and the pegs is down there so 7 ohm specs. 14 memory and 380 1.8 everything looks fine now we have to find out why our PEX rail uh, PEX reset is open line I can tell you I don't need schematics I know very good this PCB from ASUS 2080 Ti and let me switch you again to continuity mode And actually, our logic for PEX reset is located right here on this corner. This is U811. Uh, and the pin, the PEX reset pin, goes to the first pin on our logic element. And as you can see, it's open line. We don't have connection there. So this is straight connection. This normally is straight connection. This goes through a via, uh, through a, a trace from here up to here, and there is nothing between. No capacitors, no no resistors, nothing. Um, so switching to resistance mode again, and let me also switch it to the microscope so we c you can also see better. No. So here we have our PEX reset logic and I will touch the probe, the black probe to ground and we will measure the resistance here. This is the first pin actually. This is pin number one and why we don't have reading. Interesting. Pin number five. 380 ohms pin number four this is the output and 380 we have exactly the same reading as our 1.8 volt rail because uh, the VCC in for this component is 1.8 here's the output we have 100 kilo ohms and here is the second input which is 10 kilo ohms but right here we have nothing very high resistance or open line. So, um, what we can do, let's see this corroded, corroded area here. Can we see something? Because I'm pretty sure that uh, the PEX reset line from the SWOT goes somewhere here and after that through a via jumps to the back uh, to the last layer so here we can see it and after that goes again through a via in the next layers and makes connection with the logical element mm, and we have a lot of corrosion here let's clean a little bit do we have any corroded components here no the components actually are looking good there's nothing wrong or maybe somebody already cleaned this area here before me. This is also possible, but actually the components here are looking in good condition. But here I can see something uh, unusual and this maybe is our problem. Uh, switching the multimeter again to continuity and we will take the probes and I will touch with one of the probes uh, the PEX reset pin on the SWOT and with the other probes we will probe right here because can you see that 
here should be a path like this one but it's so corroded and now it's missing so this path makes connections this is actually test pad this is for the manufacturing process this is not for soldering components here this is test pad for manufacturing so for the manufacturer to test the pcbs and here also the same thing we should have a pad and it's so corroded and a very small part of it is still here uh, so one of my probes is touching the PEX reset on the SWOT and with other probes with other probe I will touch uh, uh, all these four connections one by one I'm pretty sure that one of these is PEX reset checking this one nope checking this one here is something left nope oh here we have it so this this via is connected to the PEX reset on the SWOT and I can bet that the other end right here this via is connected to the logic element I will not show you on the microscope I will touch it like that but you can hear the beep if it's any beep there Yeah. So this is our problem. The trace is broken, and uh, that's why the cart is not powering on. We will do that n right now. We will uh, uh, repair the, those three, those two traces, cleaning this corrosion here in this area, and we should be able to try the cart. So let's starting. I will first use uh, my soldering iron because the best cleaning. Uh, for corrosion is heat and flux. Hopefully my film, filming structure is not so loud and you can still hear me. So let's start cleaning here. I want to touch uh, all these pads without exceptions because they are all corroded. And we should stop this corrosion because we can repair only the two uh, broken connections. But I'm pretty sure if we leave the corrosion there, it will still work and destroy the other parts as well. So let's clean with alcohol. So now they are looking shiny again and for the screw hole I can use a metal brush and just brush it because I don't want to, to apply solder here on this copper area. This is enough for now the ultrasonic cleaner We'll take care of that later. Okay, so let's see what we have and what we need. Two broken traces. Let me zoom in. So now it's good. Uh, taking the grinding pen, we'll start grinding, exposing those traces, and we will solder something between to make a connection again. So let me change my my bits my bit for the grinding tool. All right, we don't need too much. Here we don't have a lot of space to work because this via is uh, the only connection here is this via. We don't have more. The trace is broken, and as you can see, how how deep. Uh, this via is corroded, it's almost destroyed. Exposing this one. We need this one and this also. And 
and also this one. So this is enough space to work with. Again, cleaning the area and I will solder two pads there, two traces. So let's clean the solar mask and we should be good here. All right, and let's measure again. Let me switch it to top view and we can take a measurement from our first pin on our U811 to PEX and we have connection. Let's measure the pegs, voltage drop to ground, around, around 600, this is very good. So this problem is solved and I'm pretty sure that this is the main problem with the card. Here basically was uh, liquid damage from the CPU cooler, dropping down the liquid and creating corrosion and this destroyed uh, those two pads and the connection for the pegs. Uh, for, for the PEX reset was uh, damaged and why the customer soldered and resoldered and changed so many RAM chips I have no idea we have to find out now um, let's plug the cart in place one cooler on top and we can test and now with everything connected let's power on the machine and see what we have and we have picture from the cart nice uh, let's vote in Linux and test it also. I want to dump the data from the card and after that we can check together for example the, the training status for the card. I need to input the serial number here but uh, I will cover it. And the revision for me is after PEX trace repair. So when I dump data from the cards, I want to describe for what this dump is and after what kind of repair this dump is. Is the first second after changing something, after replacing a RAM chip and so on. Uh, let's wait to finish and now finished. Let's power off the machine. Or maybe in this time uh, we can do something uh, different. We can run very simply maths test. Only maths because uh, the card right now has no cooler and I don't want to, to heat it too much. Maths looks good and this is actually promising. Maybe the RAM chips which are changed or rebuilt are good working and I don't have to work there. Okay, we have pass. Let's power off and take a look at the some of the results of my dump. Okay, let's see what we have here. Uh, here we have the BIOS version, the card, 2080 Ti and so on. Let's see the training status. So far looks everything fine and yes it is, the card is without training errors, without maths errors. I will finish the video here, this card is working now, I have to ultrasonic clean it, assemble, test, so run many tests in Windows and also Linux to be completely sure that the card is working properly so, without, so that the card has no problems with the uh, changed RAM chips and also rebolt or refold RAM chips. I don't know what is going on here. I will test everything and after that invoice the customer and ship the card back. Uh, as always, thank you for watching. If you need a repair, check the links in the video description. Also, if you need parts for your projects because 
now we receive so many cards with with the repair attempts so probably you need parts check a gpo fix and use a coupon code welcome 10 to get a discount uh, for your first order there like and subscribe we'll see us in the next one bye